We've managed to put a man on the moon, but we still haven't decoded what meow means. Will we ever? You might never be able to get your cat to speak your language, but you might be able to communicate with it in a different way, via tail language. Much like sign language, tail language gives you a visual representation based on tail movements and body posture about how your cat feels. What does an upright tail with a curved end mean? What's your cat trying to tell you when it's slowly moving its tail? How would you know your cat is in distress based solely off their tail language? Here's your cat's tail language finally explained. Tail straight up or with a curved tip. A recent study showed that when shown silhouettes of other cats with their tails raised in varying positions, test subject felines were most likely to approach those silhouettes with their tails raised up with a curved tip. This tail position indicates that your cat is in a playful mood or is being welcoming. The curved tip is often referred to as a question mark of sorts because the tail position is supposed to greet other cats with it. The same study showed that the test subjects were least likely to approach a silhouette with its tail down. You've probably noticed cats walking in circles with their tails raised up when they aren't giving them enough attention. They're trying to subtly hint at the fact that they want to play with you, or they're in a mood to be petted. It's the feline equivalent of shaking your hand to say hello. If you see a cat with its tail raised up, preferably with a curved tip, then there's no need to proceed with caution. It's the feline's way of letting you know it welcomes you in its presence. Swishing Tail You might have noticed your cat changed its position before slowly swishing its tail back and forth. The swishing movement can be equated with recharging itself. In this case, it indicates that the cat is calculating a particular move. For example, pouncing at a moving object, grabbing food, or playing with its favorite toy. Swishing tail signs could also be an indicator for negative emotions, such as anger, stress, or frustration. However, in those cases, the cat will aggressively move its tail back and forth. A swishing tail isn't unique to felines. Dogs, too, will swish their tail back and forth when they're trying to focus on something, right before they pounce at something. In any case, if you see a cat swishing its tail back and forth, you best leave it be. Your cat is focused on something and doesn't want any distractions. Tail tucked away A tail tucked away can mean several different things. Your cat is ready to retreat and withdraw. Your cat might be feeling anxious or it might feel uncomfortable in the setting it's in. If your cat is ready to go to bed or to withdraw, it'll tuck its tail gently around its body in a way that's comfortable for the animal. If your cat is uncomfortable or anxious, it'll tuck its tail in an awkward position and will probably have its ear raised. Another useful way of determining whether your feline friend is tired or anxious is to notice their eyes. Relaxed and drooping eyes indicate exhaustion, but wide eyes indicate anxiety. A tucked tail could be a sign of something really stressful going on, and you won't be able to tell whether your cat needs help until you study their tail language. Learn to read the signs to save your cat from unnecessary distress. Low tail while some cats, such as Persian cats, might usually have their tails lying low, it won't indicate anything specific. Other cats will only lower their tails to show defenselessness or submission. If your cat feels like it's in a situation with no way out, it'll probably lay its tail low to show it can't do anything more in the situation it's in. As a responsible pet parent, you need to be able to read the signs your cat is trying to give you. In this case, you need to make sure your cat isn't in a situation or setting where it feels threatened and unwanted. For example, if your cat lowers its tail when it sees a dog passing by, it probably isn't comfortable sharing the same space as another animal. Once you notice your cat's tail sign, you need to quickly take them out of that setting and allow them to de-stress. Tall, quivering tail Cats can often be viewed negatively and inaccurately represented as less affectionate domestic animals. Most people, particularly those who have never actually owned a cat, will say that cats are stuck up. This couldn't be further from the truth. While it might be a bit more meticulous to decode a cat's way of showing affection, it is neither impossible nor is it rare for cats to show you their adoration. 
The most straightforward way for them to show you that they're comfortable in your presence or excited to see you is by quivering their tails. A tall quivering tail used to be misunderstood as a sign of anger or fear. The quiver essentially was thought to be done out of fear of predators. Now we know it's a sign to show us they want cuddles. Then again, if your cat has its tail raised high and is quivering, you might not want to go in for a hug just yet. The sign could also mean that they're getting ready to urinate. Wrapping their tail around you After a particularly enjoyable meal, you might notice your cat comes up to you and begins to wrap its tail around your leg. It'll do so while encircling your legs a couple of times before finally settling in on one position. This is their way of saying thanks. Cats usually wrap their tails around their pet parents when they're trying to show affection and adoration. This will usually come after a nice meal, an enjoyable playtime, or when they're sleepy and want to be cuddled. Your pet might even let out a few soft meows now and then to show you that they love you. When a cat intertwines its tail with that of another cat, it's usually to show affiliate behavior or friendliness to its fellow feline. You might notice your cat taking a few minutes to actually assess another cat before it ultimately decides to either walk away or to intertwine tails with it. Arched back and lower tail. Have you ever heard the expression, scaredy cat? While the expression might offend a cat or two, its depiction in cartoons is pretty close to the real thing. When a cat is afraid or feels threatened, it'll arch up its back and puff its tail that's laying low. Your cat might even let out a high-pitched meow to possibly indicate a scream. This might happen at the most random of moments. You're on a walk with your pet and it suddenly feels afraid of its own shadow. Whatever the case may be, make sure you exit that situation with your cat and allow them space to recover from whatever it was that frightened them. Puffed up tail a puffed-up tail is also frequently referred to as a pipe cleaner position. This position can indicate several things. Your cat is frightened, angry, frustrated, or trying to ward off danger. The puffed-up tail position is perhaps an ancestral trait picked up by cats to scare off predators with a show of strength. Look how puffy my tail looks. This tail position, no matter what it means, rarely means that the cat is in a position where it's comfortable. If it's angry or frustrated, then there's probably a trigger in its vicinity that's causing its negative emotions. If it's trying to ward off a threat, then it might have seen another animal approaching or it might not be taking kindly to a stranger trying to pet it. In any case, identify the trigger and try to eliminate it. Pacify your cat and show it that there's nothing to be scared of. As a responsible pet parent, you need to be able to tell the signs and alleviate your cat of any unnecessary anxiety. All right, comment down below what you think your cat is trying to tell you with its tail position. And check out some of our other videos to learn more about your pets. See you in the next one.